Hello, my viewers. Welcome to another episode of the Arsenal Live. By today's video title, you know what the video's about. How good is the Steelers' secondary? You know, the Steelers' secondary has been the question. Um, I remember before we got Minka Fitzpatrick, like in 2019, it was always a question, like, the Steelers' safety. Uh, we, we like, 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 I guess since Paul Malu retired, I remember it was, a, it was like a void. We were trying to find different people to fill in. And then when our cornerbacks left, you know, we were trying to find a void to fill people in. We, we went from... I think around like 2015. I think Paul Ryan retired in 2015. I believe so. Um, and we, we, we went around and just like we, we was like we was doing, using everybody. We had Sean Davis back there. We had Mike Mitchell. We had the dude that played for the Packers. Um, who was that? Ah, uh, what's his name? He played for the Packers. And he came and then we signed him. It was um, it was something. I forgot his name. And we had um, Maria Antoine in the cornerback position. We had a lot of. Crazy stuff too. William Gabe was cool. William Gabe was a cool corner. He used to make a lot of big. He made, he made like, like big flash plays here and there. But then we had Antoine Blake. We had um, Ross Cockwell. We had Ari Burns. Cody Sensabar. We had a lot of different people. It was a lot of different corners in and out, and a lot of different safeties in and out. But in 2019, we made that big trade. Trade our first round draft pick. People thought we was um reaching. We should probably should have did that. But we traded and got Mick Fitzpatrick. And his first year there, he made the first team All Pro. Made first team All Pro. Then his next year, made first team All Pro. And then last year, he should have made the Pro Bowl because last year was one of his most grittiest, grittiest years. He was out there making plays all over the field and just, like, being scrappy and coming downhill and making hits. People had questions, can you tackle? And he, he showed the physicality last year. That was, his best, that was one of his better years. My favorite one is actually last year. He might, he might have all the splash, splash plays, but he had all the big, like, the, the gritty plays, the plays that, like, the coaches love. Like, going down, getting downhill, helping them in the run game, and just making big tackles and, like, hitting the ball out. And just doing, just doing crazy stuff, like, crazy great stuff. But um, Mick Fitzpatrick kind of changed the landscape of our secondary over the past past few years, past three years, and then this, this is um, this is fourth year here now, yeah. So he's trying to change the landscape, and then Khalil Witherspoon was a guy who didn't really start the full um season, but he came like in the end of the year and he just went crazy. I think he had like four, was it four or five interceptions. He had two against the Vikings. He had one against the um against the Browns. Two against the Vikings. One against the Browns. I think he had one against the Chiefs, too, as well, in the end. So, I think he had four. I think he had four. He might have had five, though. But he was just making plays all over the place. And then, we got Wallace is a guy who he's signed free agency. He is, um, he, he's pretty solid. I've seen some of his stuff with the Bills. Because, um, I watch, I watch the Bills games sometimes because, um, Josh Allen is very cool to watch. But I've seen some of Levi Wallace. You know, he's solid. He's, a, he's that second corner behind Davis White, of course. Davis White got injured last year. I think, like, mid-season. I think he injured the ACL, I believe so. But um, Leo Wallace, he on um, a solid cornerback. He saw that he um make plays here and there. I that that's all we need right there. Cause if the Killer Witherspoon emerges and he stay and continue to play like he did, he'd be a Pro Bowl. He might be even All Pro quarter, um cornerback. He keep playing like that because when he did that, those like was it five or six games that he played, he went crazy. He went crazy. He was just playing amazing football. And Killer Witherspoon was he like he like he like he like he like he, like, he, like, he gave us like a little juice too because we need that juice. Because when we had James Pierre. In, and then we had um, Arthur Malette. Arthur Malette is solid. He's better played in the slot uh, as a slot corner. But um, we had James Pierre, who's um, one of the guys up there. He may have played against the Broncos at the end of the game. He had some plays here and there. But just, like, they kept him in bad situations, too. Because, like, our corners, like, I think, like, James Pierre, Arthur Malette, Trey Norwood, he played like corner. I think he played, they had him in the corner sometimes. He used to play safety, too. But they're not, they're not really, like, um, speedsters. So, like, they was getting burnt. Like, Jamar Chase burnt James Pierre at the halftime. Like, all you had to do was stop. All you had to do was get back. Like, they, they play man-to-man, -man, they get burnt. And man-to-man -man coverage is not their best. But in, in zone coverage, they play better like that, playing the zone coverage. And, like, we were trying to run the scheme. We, we, we wanted that cornerback who can, like, follow and play somebody man-to-man. -man. And we got um, Killer Witherspoon. I don't know why they took so long to put him in, but he came in. He made the plays, and we signed him back. So, hopefully this year he'd be, like, the the – Bonafide number one corner, and Leo Wallace can be that solid, you know, complimentary piece who comes in who can also guard and man man up against people. He played physical too. Leo Wallace played very physical. So those guys right there, I thought like the cornerback position is pretty solid right now. Now I need to see more from Kyle Witherspoon because you know it could be it could be a fluky. You never know. So if this season he comes in, he plays very good. He plays well like he did last season. They be like, okay, he's 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 the he's the guy. And he's only like twenty five, I think too. So he should be he should be around for a while too. And then signing um KZ. And um, we got Minka, we have Minka, KZ, Norwood, and Edmonds as our four safeties. That safety, that right there is that's very good. 
Uh, cause we have we have some good some good players. Like, cause Edmonds has been improving every season. He might not be in like the safety we wanted him to be when we drafted him first round, but he's been improving every year and getting better every year. And like, and like it's like he make, like at first he remember he had no interceptions early on, and then he started. I think the past two three the past two but basically two years yeah I think cause the year we went we went like eleven and zero, and then this year, yeah I think past two years really he's been um improving and like he's been playing at a um higher level. And then you know Mika Fitzpatrick is legendary of course already. And then you um. Got KZ, who's who, who can who can be a starter in this league, and who's a good who's, who's a good safety too. The Cowboys kind of use him, in a, they kind of use him as their own, like they use him differently uh, out there. But and we can use him in different mix like packages, um, like like just like rotate him out. We have like a lot of depth at the safety position. So and then Norwood, he played well in the slot. They put him in slot corner sometimes, and then safety, he made some plays here and there too. And Arthur Milet is a, uh, another cornerback who um played in the, better probably in the slot. Cause he was making some big plays, like some big tackles, like, and then of course Sutton. Sutton is another guy too, who's probably better in the slot. Most of our corners before we um got Kill Witherspoon and Leo Wallace, they were better in the slot. They made big plays, like after my let um Trey Norwood, who they, they use them different spot, they use them in safety and corner sometimes. And then um Cam Sutton, they all play better in the slot when they can get like physical. When they can like they play better in like like short yardage situations where they like can be more physical with the corner and like and like maybe like man up like in like, those like. Goal line situations or like situations where you get the first downs like that, like they play better in like those situations instead of like manning up on the outside against the number one guy. They play better like inside, like, they're more physical. And you see like um, Cam Sutton, he make plays here and there. I think I thought he was gonna be like our our guy coming in, but then after the last I started seeing like they start like taking like you know he kind of like got put away to the side a little bit and he kind of came back in fray kind of close to the end of the year and then put away to the side a little bit more when Uncle Witherspoon start shining real good. But I think as an entirety, our secondary is probably, probably um, I had to give him a grade from a scale of one to ten. I give him like a six point, six point eight, six point eight, like around that. I feel like the secondary has good, of course, good players, but we it's still some um questions. Like you want to see like more consistency. The only person I know who I don't have to see anything from is Mika Fitzpatrick. But then Cliff Witherspoon, we did last year was amazing, but we still got. Still, he can't carry on to this year because because he didn't start the full entirety of the, the year, and then at the end he started. So you see that carry on the full entirety of the season. And Leo Wallace, we think he can he can be a, a solid cornerback and be physical. Maybe he might be merged as the number one guy. You never know what could happen. And then the other guys can they fill in that, that slot corner position, that third corner position, and make things happen. So the secondary, um, is way better than what it was though. Way better than what it was last year. Cause last year we we was we was rotating through corners like crazy. We was changing corners like we changed our underwear every every day. The cornerback, like we, 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 we was like rotating through corners, like it was like it was bad. It was bad last year. The corner position, because it was like, and then when Khalil Spoon finally came in, came in, like to came in and got an opportunity to play, it just like elevated him. Like it got, it was just better. We was like finally we got some type of hope, some type of juice. And he kind of brought some spark to the um to the defense too as well. So hopefully this year the secondary position, the secondary in general will just stay good. But you guys leave in the conversation what you guys think. You think the secondary is better this year or last year? How good the secondary gonna be this year? Let me know in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time.